Netflix grid for the HQs. Neville Haley will start from pole position. Sean Press alongside him. Row two, it's Len Cave and Keith Davidson. Row three is Shane Jenner and Steve Haley. Row four, Robert Wright and Shane Fifield. Now keep in mind these are their finishing positions from yesterday's race. Position number nine is Paul Panisi, Adam Grenoff in ten. Row six is Anthony Edwards and Scott Parkinson. Row seven, Carl McHenry and Alex Saliba. Row eight, Peter Avard and Glenn McDonald out of 16. There are plenty of HQs. We go back to row nine, Leon Fletcher and Richard Gay. Row 10, it's Peter Brown and Greg Beethel. Row 11, Michael Fitzgerald and Michael Hippert. Here they come. Row 12, Tim Rouse and Tony Di Gennaro. Green flag waves. We're only moments away from the start of the Holden HQ race. Santa International, 42 cars on the grid. Can you believe that? Boy, oh boy, with these slippery conditions, all sorts of mayhem can be expected at the first corner. Red light, they're almost ready to run. Watch for the green. Green light, and away they go. Neville Haley and Sean Press off the front row of the grid. They're scattering like nine pins. Trying to look for a fast run up the inside and the outside of the white line. Looks like a good, strong start from Haley. Our pole position man, they'll go three wide under brakes. Who's going to come through first? It's Haley. They all seem to get through reasonably well. There's no spinners and nobody even going off the circuit as they go through Shell Corner. That's good to see. Look at how many HQs there are. How would you like to be right in the middle, in the middle of that pack? Just incredible. There's no shortage of numbers in Holden HQ Racing. We've seen this here. Oh, look at how much they're slipping and sliding as they come through the complex up toward NGK Corner. The track very, very slippery, and there's no room for error when you're that close in the bunch. They've done a tremendous job, Neville Haley. He won yesterday's race, yesterday afternoon, and he's doing a good job in this one, and that's certainly the place to be out in the front as they work their way out of NG Corner and up the long back straight here at Sandown International. Here's your race leader, Neville Haley. He's got a nice, clear track in front. He has a good look behind to see where uh, Sean Press is, but he's uh, probably about three or four car lengths back. Oh, look at him get a little bit of a slide on there. See how slippery these conditions are. It's the fastest part of the track for any category competing here. Got to be very committed over the top of that rise to plunge down into XR8 corner. And you can see Haley just had a little bit of a twist on the wheel, trying to gather it up with their bumper to bumper, nose to tail as they come around in this first lap. And look at the amount of spray they're driving in. Great to see so many entries from the HQ drivers. There's Sean Press, the RPM engines entry. In excess of 40 entries for this weekend's races. And they've had to uh, endure different conditions. It was beautiful and fine yesterday afternoon for the HQs, but totally different conditions for them today, and it's really testing them out. Now, front couple of runners, they've got a, a nice break on the rest of the pack. Is our second place driver, Sean Press. He's doing well. He sort of he pushed Neville Haley uh, reasonably hard yesterday afternoon. Neville's got a nice little buffer over him at the moment. Well, the wet conditions, just an idea of how fast they're going. They speed up the back straight, about 157, almost 160 kilometres an hour in these wet conditions. And uh, you'd have to take a few bravery pearls for breakfast to uh, be going at that speed and going over the top of that hold and rise. It's a pretty hairy part of racetrack, particularly in these wet conditions. And car forward is Crunch. Alex Saliba. Oh, it was just dislodged someone's camera or something attached to the fence there too. That's what <laughs> just heard from the director is actually our camera. Mount on the side of the arm go there, so the boys have to go back and fix that. Let's have a look at another one. Oh. Over the top of Holden Hill. That's a very fast part of the racetrack there. Car 9, Jenna. And he's just kissed the front of the fence. <laughs> the HQs have been very entertaining. Fantastic. But, uh, Let's not forget about our man out in front, though. He's done a terrific job here today in the wet conditions. Neville Haley won yesterday afternoon's race. And he's doing very well. And there, that shot illustrates uh, just how much of a lead he has. He's just cruised away from this bunch. Great battle for the minor placings between Sean Press and Davidson. And of course, Len Cave. Oh, look at under brakes there. Cave getting very, very close to the limit of adhesion under brakes right up behind Davidson's white machine. Oh, there's one spun around there too, coming onto the main straight. So they're going all over the place. Hand out of the window. Len Cave, he takes the win. Good work. So uh, clean sweep so far this weekend in the HQs for Len Cave. It's going to be very close for that third position. Sean Press will have second place taken care of. And Len Cave has got there for third. Well, after a very entertaining show from the HQ Holdens, let's check how they finished on the Shell Helix race score. Neville Haley it was who brought it home first. Sean Press in second. Len Cave recovered for third. Keith Davidson brought it home in fourth. Rounding out the five, Shane Jenner.